What a desolate, forsaken place. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Let's get this thing over with so we can get home. We're looking at King Dinosaur, the first film of Dark Corner's favourite, Bert I. Gordon. Do you want to go on or turn back? A new planet in our solar system prompts a journey of scientific discovery and several acres of stock footage as a state-of-the-art spaceship is built. Tested. Immediately letting us know that this is the movie that science forgot. Now the mice are floating in air. Sure they are. The team of scientists selected to go to Planet Nova comprises two men and two women. Who naturally use the long journey there to hook up. Maybe you can help me with this. Do you remember any of your chemistry? Enough to know about the chemistry between us. Probably the only accurate science in the whole film. An active volcano. This planet is quite young, Pat. Yep, no active volcanoes on Earth. What do you think, Nora? Actually, I don't really care about this stuff any more than I care about the budget constraints that make the effects laughable. <laughs> and night shooting an impossibility. It'd be a lot easier to find our way in the daylight. I do care that a well-prepared mission of intelligent scientists spend a few hours walking and... Is this the way we came? I care that they didn't bring a tent. Hey, how about that? Home sweet home. It's real good, huh? Uh-huh. Step up to the front desk and register. Basically, I care about anything that's not to do with money or time. No reason why we can't take a watch, too. Yes, there is. One man is injured whilst rolling around with a rubber alligator. <laughs> the important thing is not to point fingers. It's nobody's fault. What are you doing away from this area anyway? Two of his comrades go back to the ship for supplies, but when the man wakes up... You've been unconscious for a day and a half. They only walked a few hours away from the ship. What have they been doing all this time? Hey, where'd you pick this one up? We didn't. He picked us up. You stopped to pick up a pet while your mate was bleeding to death. This is just great. While they were gone... <laughs> That's something to tell the other two when they get back. Anything unusual, Dick? We were attacked by a giant insect, but uh, it doesn't seem worth mentioning. You know, I think they all read too much science fiction. You know, they probably thought we'd meet some kind of super race up here or something. But even these very fixable errors, you sort of forgive because it's a Bert I. Gordon film, and say what you like, when he calls a film The Amazing Colossal Man, you get an amazing colossal man. So... That better not be King Dinosaur. It resembles the Tyrannosaurus Rex of Earth's prehistoric age. In no way whatsoever. King Dinosaur. Now I'm pissed. Although probably not as pissed as this actress was at her co-star. <laughs> My gun's jammed. The thing is, this is a scientific mission, to the extent that the crew is a zoologist, a mineralogist, a doctor, and a chemist. They don't even have a pilot. I've actually no idea how they got there. So, what do you suppose their reaction is to this amazing discovery? <laughs> Completely unprovoked. He'll shoot it, do something. They're now pinned down in a cave, in terrible, just off camera danger. <laughs> So they call their friends for help. We've got to get to them. No, they've got to get to us. If they could get to you, they wouldn't need you here. And they just leave the cave of their own accord. Over here! Faster! Thanks, you've been a massive help. I brought the atom bomb. I think it's a good time to use it. Say what now? All right, set for 8 o'clock. That's a half an hour from now. Come on, let's get out of here. OK, firstly, you didn't pack a tent, but you brought an A-bomb. Secondly, yeah, I'm sure half an hour of running and paddling a dinghy is plenty of time to get out of the blast radius of a nuclear device. Thirdly, and once again, you're on a new planet of extraordinary creatures, and your reaction to this is... <laughs> Oh, 
OK, is anyone now feeling like we overreacted? Well, we've done it. Done what? Brought civilization to planet Nova. The crazy thing is, I'm not sure that line is ironic. Thanks for watching. To see more of our Bert I. Gordon film reviews, click here and don't forget to subscribe. We've done a few films by the notorious B.I.G., but which of his should we review next? Let us know in the comments below. Come on, let's go home. <laughs>